would you do different with your life? What would you do with those last two years? Would you start selling real estate? <laughs> right? Would you become an artist? Would you allow yourself to fall in love again? Would you allow yourself to give forgiveness that you've been denying someone? Would you want to heal old relationships? Would you want to write a book? Would you want to travel? Would you want to learn to swim? I mean, whatever. What would you do differently if you knew you had two years? Now, I'm talking about as, as a planet. Now, individually, people face these realities every day through disease, cancer, and the such. You know? And they're the bravest people in the world because they know. They've been given a diagnosis that's terminal. Many, of, many don't die, but others do. But they live with that every day. And every day, they have the courage to get up and keep doing whatever it is that they want to do. What would we do differently as a society, as a global planet? This is not just an American issue. This is a planetary issue. And I have to tell you, the extraterrestrials don't see us as Russians, Chinese, Americans, Japanese. They don't see any of that. We are one race. Irregardless of our differences and our languages, we are one race to them. Only we don't believe that. We're the only ones who don't believe that. Okay? What would we do differently? What would you do with your life? How would you live it? Would you... Be the most benevolent person you know? Would you go the other way? You know? Would you be a gangster? You know? Would you sing love ballads or would you sing rap? You know, everybody. The reason I, I, I ask this is that the future isn't set. Now there's talk, I heard something recently about a star, a star going nova. That's about 3,200 light years from us. Don't worry about that. There's more than enough help here that that's not how it's going to go for us. Okay? That, that, that's not going to happen. I mean, it may go nova, but technology exists and there are plenty of resources in our particular solar system right now to ensure that that's not how we're going to end. Okay? Because there are a lot of people very, very curious about us. Now, the reason I say that is that we are a planet that has 22 very specific genetic markers. Okay? We are a collection, a collage, a compendium of many different extraterrestrial races living together. This is not common out there. Okay? Especially in third density in a very complex ecosystem like we have. Okay? It's it's not there aren't that many. And they're here to watch us because we are as a civilization at a place where many of them have been before. And that is, is that we are spiritually evolving. At the same time, we have created technology that we barely know how to contain and use. The technology was created in a space of fear. Those using it, holding it, maintaining it, controlling it, are in a space of fear. Humanity, however, is at a space where it's beginning to step out of that reality to create something new. So what you have is you have a consciousness that sees itself becoming completely irrelevant. Which makes them unpredictable. 
you know, and nuclear weapons are no laughing matter, ever. Okay? Now, there are extraterrestrial races, benevolent extraterrestrial races, having contact with some military sources on Earth from different countries. God, there is just so much going on. <laughs> and the wild card here really is us. We're the kingpin. We need to continue on this movement of not only sticking together, but focusing on what it is that we really want. What kind of world do we really want? We, can't be, we really can't be serious about wanting to create a global government that controls every aspect of our lives. Look at what they've done with the world already. Why would we trust them with anything else? We can't. We simply can't. Because they're not us. They see us as a natural resource. Therefore, we need to turn our focus completely away from them and create what we do want so that their paradigm completely collapses on itself. And it needs to. Because it isn't real. It's not us. It's all about them. Okay, so what is it that we would want? The protocols for contact. This is very difficult. And what makes it difficult isn't the actual, okay, here we are, you know, now you see us. Here's our ships. Now you know we're real. Okay? The difficult part is, how do we set up the protocols? How do we approach them as an equal without worshipping them? Because that will make them leave in a heartbeat. The benevolence, anyway. They're not into that. Okay? The regressives, they'd be more than happy to allow you to worship them because we've got a history of that already. It's in the Bible, Old Testament, Egyptian books, Sumerian texts. We've got plenty of history of that. Okay? That's never served us either. Begin within yourselves to begin visualizing what the protocols would look like. Now, in the last conversation that I had, I asked who would be the most likely people at the moment, the way things are now, that they would contact to begin a dialogue regarding mentorship. And the answer would probably surprise you. It definitely isn't the United States. Okay? Even though we have probably the most advanced technology the world's known since Atlantis. It's the Japanese. It would be the Japanese government at this moment because of their prudence, because of their integrity, and because of their dedication to their own people. Now, that's something to think about. Okay? This is the country that took two, three nuclear weapons. <laughs> okay? And look at how far they've come. So, when will this happen? I'm not exactly sure. I do know that between now and the fall of this year, huge events are going to occur. Um, some absolutely wonderful and some not. I also want you to know that the Andromedans are very concerned about the Earth moving through this gravitational plasmic field, which we call the galactic plane. It is their concern that the planet itself, when it hits it, because of its vibration, its frequency, it's going to bounce off of it at first, creating a huge global quake. There have been discussions as to